Greetings from Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I very, very much hope that this video finds you well and in very, very good spirits wherever you are in the world. I find myself in very good spirits indeed because right now it is the morning of October 18th, 2022, Tuesday morning for me in Tokyo. And I just heard that a few hours ago, the Criterion Collection on its website made its announcement with respect to its planned releases for January 2023. So the first month of that new year when it arrives, which is actually very, very soon as I'm making this video, which is in the middle of October, as they say, 2022. So uh, as with these uh, great announcements, if it's okay with you, I'd like to just share with you my initial thoughts with regard to these Criterion Collection January 2023 planned releases. And you can find the information on the website, uh, Criterion website, so you can find more detailed specification information details about the planned cover art, uh, little write-ups about the films themselves, and the like. So, And of course, with, uh, with that, you can also find information about other films, other titles that might be found within the, uh, the great collection that is the Criterion Collection. So I encourage you to check out that website uh, for more information if you are interested. And also then for us, for purposes of today's discussion, again, it's going to be just a my general impressions with the understanding that uh, things might change or maybe when the item actually arrives in the mail. Uh, we can then take a look at that together, you and I, and we can explore it. And maybe on that occasion, we might have dif different comments or different takes or, or reactions. But for the time being, let us share uh, with each other, you and I, our reactions to this recent announcement with regard to the January 2023 planned releases from the Criterion Collection. One thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. First planned release, and this is planned for January 3rd, 2023, and this is for Spy Number 1166. The release is described as being from 1980. The film is described as being from 1988. The release itself, there are two options. One is a two-disc Blu-ray set, the other being a three-disc 4K UHD plus Blu-ray combo. And I'm speaking of the work from Terry Gilliam, and that is this film. The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. So once again, I apologize for my poor YouTube video making skills and presentation skills. I'm showing my my iPad here. Uh, if you want, again, better quality resolution pictures and ideas of what the cover art is, which is great here, by the way, uh, please, I encourage you, very strongly encourage you to check out the Criterion Collection website directly uh, for more of those pictures, such as that for the planned uh, cover art for The Bear, the Adventures of Baron Munchausen. New cover by Abigail Giuseppe, by the way, is accredited here. This is a really delightful surprise. I had no idea about this. Um, I don't know anything about this new 4K digital restoration of this work, so when this title arrives, it'll be really fun to try to explore that. I remember seeing this film in the theater in the late 80s, and uh, so it was one of the first, or it, it probably was, yeah, it was, it was one of the first, if not the first work by Terry Gilliam that I'd seen, and I, I was uh, not aware of uh, anything prior, uh, and so this was a fresh, new adventure, zany, uh, funny, clever, uh, confusing, uh, uh, overwhelming, uh, extravaganza of many different forms and styles and uh, types of uh, uh, cinematics, uh, um, uh, delightful special effects, uh, adventure fantasy in my view that uh, had a lot of room in, in its world and I was so overwhelmed by it that uh, it was a quite enthralling experience and that formed the basis I think for my uh, my journey with uh, this work, The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. And so uh, I am so, so excited about this. Uh, I 
I'm very excited about this. It'll be in many ways, uh, uh, well, it's it's in many ways too, I should say, a return of sorts, uh, because not only do we have this great film uh, from uh, Terry Gilliam, uh, now in the collection, I shall say too that it is back in the Criterion Collection. And the reason why I say it's back in the Criterion Collection is for those who may or may not know, um, it used to be a Laserdisc. Uh, and we have the Laserdisc right here at spy number 144 in the Laserdisc catalog, in case you're interested. So this is a remarkable release. And so it's nice to see the Criterion Collection take a title that used to be in its Laserdisc catalog, and now it is returning to the Criterion Collection in the form of either a Blu-ray or a 4K UHD Blu-ray combo release, whatever you prefer. I, I note that there doesn't appear to be a DVD option on the website of Criterion, so uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, but I am, uh, nevertheless, I am totally, yes, over the moon. I am over, over the moon. Um, and, uh, uh, and I use that phrase uh, on purpose uh, for this work, uh, very much so. And the fact that we are getting it back in the Criterion Collection is uh, a real wonderful treat. And it'll be a great delight to explore this 4K digital restoration, plus a number of special features which are listed here uh, on the website in case you're interested. Uh, two discs for Blu-rays and then three discs if you add the 4K disc in that uh, combo option again if you're interested. So wow, very exciting the, for this, which is again scheduled for release January 3rd, 2023 for spy number 1166. And this is The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. Next, scheduled for release January 10th, 2023. This is the uh, film scheduled for or assigned for spy number 1167. And this is a film described as being from the year 1934. And it's from filmmaker John M. Stahl, starring Claudette Colbert and Louise Beavers. And I'm speaking of this work, which is right here. Imitation of Life. Imitation of Life from 1934. Uh, before I move on, uh, let's note also that Criterion is going to make uh, one of two, well, you can, there are two possible format options here. There's the one disc Blu ray option, or there is the one disc DVD option. So, uh, your choice, whatever works for you. It's nice to see the DVD format here uh, for this really fascinating work, Imitation of Life. Um, so, for 1934, and uh, wow, this is another uh, really uh, powerful and uh, uh, very absorbing work for a number of reasons. It, it has uh, the, the uh, discussion or it has the treatment or handling uh, various, um, say, uh, quite, um, uh, quite significant uh, themes that could be said to be placed within a sort of historical or cultural context. Uh, and specifically about race and race representations and racial identity and race relations, as well as uh, the currency or the the uh, uh, the immediacy of uh, these uh, thematic dis discussions or indeed these directly uh, relevant discussions in the context of the lives of the characters that we meet. And those lives are also impacted in a number of ways in terms of generational-based relationships, familial, family-based relationships, parents, children, uh, the how those relationships can either break down or withstand the various, say, shocks or challenges that are presented to these characters or that these characters are presented with or confronted by over the course of this fascinating work, Imitation of Life. And it has a, a, a type of, of uh, presence and uh, historical context uh, in terms of the film itself as well as the story that we see unfold as we watch the film. So this is a very a very uh, it's it, it it has a it, it's a very complex and uh, quite rich work indeed uh, 1934's imitation of life so this is a very uh, uh, I'm very pleasantly surprised by this announcement 
I'm very happy to hear about it. Uh, it does mention uh, 4K digital restoration, so uh, it'll be uh, great to see this in the Criterion Collection in this manner. And I also note that we have uh, special edition features uh, so you can take a look at uh, some of the new interviews that are listed. Uh, again, t check out the website, the Criterion website, directly for this. Uh, but very exciting news indeed. Uh, once again, scheduled for release uh, for January 10th. This is spy number 1167. And this is the work which is imitation of life. Next, scheduled for release January 17th, 2023. And this is spy number 1168, 1168. And this looks to be a set or a collection of works, uh, which is, uh, we have three films here uh, from one filmmaker. And that filmmaker is Lars von Trier. And this is the work which is, or the, the release here, which is right here. Look at that. Lars von Trier's Europe Trilogy. Lars von Trier's Europe Trilogy. This is described as being a three-disc Blu-ray release. So, um, with three films. And those films being The Element of Crime from 1984, Epidemic from 1987, and Europa from 1991. So, and I note also that spine number 1168 is given to the set overall, Lars von Trier's Europe trilogy. Um, I should note, however, one thing, which is we uh, recall that two of these films, uh, one of which being The Element of Crime, the other being Europa, the, they um, were already released in the Criterion Collection. Uh, for example, The Element of Crime DVD is right here. This is at spine number 80. And also Europa uh, was also released. And here's the DVD of this right here. This is spy number 454. And if you click on those titles on the website for the uh, this trilogy, Europe trilogy, you'll be taken to uh, those titles and you'll actually see those spy numbers still intact. I should note, however, for the uh, film Epidemic, the 1987 film Epidemic, when I click on Epidemic and it takes me to the actual individual title page on the Criterion website overall, there doesn't seem to be any spine number uh, assigned for the film Epidemic. So uh, that's a very interesting thing. You know, I'm, I've mentioned, uh, let's just take this aside here, which is I, I've mentioned I don't quite, uh, I, I don't quite understand yet uh, the say the the rules of spine numbering uh spine numbering for criterion with regard to collector sets or box sets uh, and this we can call this maybe a collector set because it seems to be three within one uh, release so we've seen in past sometimes the the collection or the collector set has been given right it's been given one spine number in general with each of the titles then given a spine number itself and then other times we've seen that not to be the case and so here we have one where we have two titles which were already in the criterion collection each of which retaining its original spine number but then uh the one title that hadn't been released in the criterion collection uh until this new planned January 2023 release, of course, uh, that uh, remaining title is not given a spine number for the occasion of this new release. So uh, again, a very interesting, uh, uh, I'd be very curious to to know uh, if uh, if a Criterion were to ever announce uh, or to show or to t discuss what its philosophy is or what its rules are with regard to spine number. But in any event, that's a, a kind of a, uh, a little aside there. Let's go to the works themselves. Lars von Trier's Europe Trilogy. Uh, uh, it's a, it's a really, um, uh, these films and the collection of these films, I mean, they are so, uh, they feel so organically integrated and yet they also feel so distinct and so, uh, so much having their own characters at the same time. It's really quite an astounding body of work. Uh, and you have many different elements uh, interwoven uh, between and among uh, these works, again, uh, individually in terms of their individual spirits and characters, which can be distinctive from the others. And also there is a, a sense of a type of thematic uh, continuity in, in maybe um, many senses of that term. So uh, a, an incredible uh, body of work from a very fascinating filmmaker, uh, Lars von Trier. 
So uh, to have this collection here, uh, Europe Trilogy, is uh, a quite remarkable and quite quite exciting indeed. Um, and uh, let's see here. If I just scroll down, I can see that, yes, we have, uh, it says here, 4K digital restoration of Europa with uncompressed stereo soundtrack and 3K digital restorations of Element of Crime and Epidemic with uncompressed mineral soundtracks also. That's it. So, ah, uh, this is going to be so great to be able to talk about these works. I mean, they are very challenging, uh, each in their own way. I think they have a, a type of, of approach and style that can be said to be quite, uh, quite visionary, quite, uh, quite elusive and also uh, elements of uh, certain genres of cinema, even in terms of, say, drama or melodrama, or sometimes a type of horror or even science fiction or a uh, type of mystery, a thriller type of aspect, uh, and also uh, other uh, genres that can be said to be handled, but then they're also mixed and intertwined and, and, uh, and uh, dealt with in a way that is very creative, very inventive, and very absorbing, uh, each in its own way. So, uh, It'll be so uh, fascinating uh, to re-explore these, again, in the context of this Criterion release. So the element of crime, uh, mm -hmm. epidemic, and Europa, again, forming the Europe trilogy. Lars von Trier's Europe trilogy. So it's great to see this. I have note, too, that there have maybe been uh, a number of these releases from Criterion or announcements uh -huh. regarding trilogies or sets of films from one filmmaker and here is yet another example of Lars von Trier's Europe trilogy so perhaps this is a trend of criterions uh, that we are seeing uh, in terms of trilogy works from one uh, uh, filmmaker and so maybe we might see more uh, along the way in future announcements but in any event this is a very exciting very very exciting uh, body of work and as such it is a very exciting uh, very exciting uh, uh, planned release for January 2023 indeed. This is Lars von Trier's Europe Trilogy. Next, scheduled for release January 24th, 2023. And this is for spy number 1169. Described as being from the year 2019. We have a work which is from Lemohang Jeremia Mosese. And the work is, This is Not a Burial. It's a resurrection right here. There we go. There's the cover. I apologize for the reflection of the light there. And this is described as having a Blu-ray, one disc Blu-ray option or a two disc DVD option. So uh, very exciting, uh, very exciting in terms of the continuation of the DVD format, of course. So this is not a burial. It's a resurrection it is a work that I have not seen and I am not familiar with uh, this work at all. So this is a going to be a completely new experience for me. Uh, Le Mohang Jeremia Mosese. So uh, this voice is one that, uh, again, this Criterion Collection release will afford me the opportunity to become not just introduced to this voice, but also to uh, other aspects of uh, uh, the works because it looks like there's going to be an audio commentary and also some of Moses's short films as well uh, from uh, a few years back from 2014 and 2016 etc so I am uh, really I have not uh, read up on this I have not uh, I don't know what the plot is or the story is or the approach is except for the write-up that can be found on the Criterion Collection. So I'm going to save my my uh, my specific comments for this until uh, I actually have the opportunity to watch it and to, to explore it when the Criterion Collection uh, release happens in January. So uh, in that way, this is a very, I'm, my curiosity is peaked uh, quite much peaked and uh, with the very brief and quite uh, quite enticing write-up uh, that's included in the Criterion Collection and uh, you can check that out on the Criterion website directly for more information if you're interested. I'm very curious indeed so I'm, uh, you have my attention Criterion so um, I will be uh, exploring this with great interest when it arrives again as a fresh new watch for me. Uh, Le, Le Mohang Jeremia Mosese, this is not a burial, it's a resurrection. 
Last but certainly not least, scheduled for release January 31st, 2023. And this is for Spy Number 1170. The film is described as being from the year 2021. And this is the film right here. Bergman Island. And there's the cover art design right there. That's really great. And this is from the filmmaker Mia Hansen Love. Or um, I think also... Uh, it's uh, Mia Hansen Le. Uh, so in any event, uh, Mia Hansen Love, I know, is how uh, her name has uh, uh, been pronounced in many of the interviews that I've been fortunate to see. So, uh, but I think also uh, because of her, uh, uh, because of her background and heritage, one can say Le. But again, I will have to check that detail uh, when this arrives. So, uh, in any event, yes, Bergman Island. I was so. I was so excited about this when I first heard about this film, but I have not yet been able to see it. So I, this has been on my radar for quite some time. And a number of people that I know have been, um, have been talking with me uh, just uh, 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 somewhat frequently. And among the recommendations uh, that I've heard from friends of mine is, in fact, this work, Bergman Island. So I have been so much looking forward to this. I didn't know how I would be able to catch up with it or when I would be able to catch up with it. But then lo and behold, what would you know? But Criterion decided to have this be one of its January 2023 releases. And so I'm very excited. Again, a wonderful opportunity for me. First time watch, but it's one that's been on my, my radar uh, and uh, there is a, I understand, again, uh, I don't want to get into too much uh, detail about the, what I understand the story is. I don't uh, know too much about it except the general premise. So, uh, so but it's, uh, again, uh, it has been on my, my mind because I've known a number of people who have been uh, very praiseworthy of this, very excited, excited about this. So, uh, wonderful uh, opportunity for me to explore this. So another film I have not yet seen, uh, but now Criterion has afforded me the opportunity to do so. So this is Bergman Island. Wow, very exciting. <laughs> I'm very excited for this. Now, I should say here that it says 2K Digital Master, uh, approved by director Mia hansen Lu, And uh, again, it's one disc Blu-ray or one disc DVD. So your choice in terms of those uh, those formats. It's great to see the DVD format still alive and well, in a manner of speaking. It's not always made available for every single release. I, I get that, but uh, it's still being made available for for certain releases, and so uh, especially for January, including uh, Bergman Island. So uh, uh, wonderful to get that. But of course, there's the film itself as well. And so uh, whatever your choice of format is, my dear friends, uh, I look forward to discussing this film with you and exploring this film with you when it arrives uh, upon my pre-order. So this is the film, which is Bergman Island. All right, my dear friends, so that's it as far as the planned titles uh, for January 2023. And I have open on my iPad screen here the website, Criterion Collection website, so you can actually take a look at what the upcoming releases are. So it includes January 2023 releases starting here and then going along the top row here. So my dear friends, uh, what do you think about this? This is uh, very exciting news indeed, I think, for a number of reasons. Uh, for me, there are two titles uh, that I have not yet seen. And so I will be exploring those with great, great curiosity and great interest and a great excitement indeed. So uh, it's always wonderful to have this opportunity uh, when it arises. And then as far as the other releases go, uh, we have uh, some really challenging and epic works uh, in manners in all sorts of uh, meanings of those phrases. So in terms of the, the complexities of uh, human drama and melodrama, as well as uh, a type of historical and cultural context interwoven, uh, imitation of life. And then we have uh, another, one can call it a collector set. It'll be interesting to see what the packaging is, of course, but it, one can call it a sort of collector set or, or a, 
uh, a release of, tr of a trilogy of works from one filmmaker, this being Lars von Trier's Europe trilogy. And so it's nice to see also the uh, sort of the reintroduction of uh, pre previous releases by Criterion. Again, here are the previous DVDs of two of those three works. So it'll be great to see that as a whole body of work explored. And we'll have to see what those uh, restorations look like as well. Again, I don't know. I don't have any. Uh, uh, I don't have any familiarity, or uh, uh, I don't have any knowledge about these specific restorations uh, uh, discussed here. So it'll be interesting to explore those, as well as the, the works themselves. And yeah, they are. Wow. Are, when we have an opportunity to talk about them, let's uh, share our specific comments about those. But wow, that's the Europe trilogy. And then The Adventures of Baron Munchausen. Uh, it's lovely to have this, again, for a number of reasons. This is uh, another uh, foray into the 4K UHD market for Criterion. So uh, if you are opting for that, that you have that uh, possibility as one of the options. If not, that's okay, because I think there would be the Blu-ray option as well. Uh, what, did, what was it, two discs Blu-ray or three discs if you get the 4K UHD plus Blu-ray combo. So very exciting stuff indeed. And it's a magical fantastic fantasy film in a manner of speaking that is so clever and it's uh harkening back to feelings that i had as a kid watching this for the first time in the theater so uh there's that feeling and then also from the cr uh, criterion historical perspective as i mentioned we have the uh the um uh the the return of this title uh, in uh, this new 4K UHD plus Blu-ray combo or the Blu-ray com Blu-ray form. We had the return of this title, which had been a Criterion Laserdisc way back in the day. So it's always nice to see uh, these titles from the, the former Laserdisc catalog. It's always nice to see these titles appear. You get them every so often, but when they do, it's so exciting for me. So uh, there's also that little... A little uh, type of uh, uh, collect collecting goodie in a manner of speaking. So, uh, so it, overall, it's a very, very intriguing, exciting month, a very intriguing, exciting way to start the year of 2023. So uh, I, I should say, too, uh, just uh, uh, more observations before we conclude. Uh, we have, of course, this trilogy, this format, which is the Filmmakers Trilogy. So... Uh, we had a number of those titles that were announced for, I think, releases that will happen later in the year 2022. So as I'm making this video, those haven't occurred yet, I think. But uh, we will have those. Uh, we seem to see this as a kind of, I don't know if we can call it a trend yet, uh, but if this continues on beyond January 2023 as well, it's very exciting to see what the, what uh, lies in store uh, for this type of, say, trilogy release format. If it doesn't get, I mean, we've seen trilogies before. Uh, in in uh, uh, in Criterion's uh, past release history, of course, we've seen trilogies uh, in in all sorts of uh, uh, shapes and sizes, of course. But uh, it's interesting to see, you know, the filmmaker's name and then trilogy or some kind of name attached to the trilogy. So, uh, and we've seen those, I think, somewhat re uh, recently. We've seen them somewhat frequently, I think. So, it's interesting to see that continue, and hopefully, that will continue uh, with uh, a great deal of frequency going forward, because those are very exciting indeed. And then also. Also, of course, the continuation of the 4K format in the hands of uh, Adventures of Baron Munchausen. So that seems to be uh, uh, well on its way uh, from its original, say, start uh, some time back. And then we still have the uh, continuation of other formats. Again, not for each release, but the DVD format still, in my eyes, is uh, uh, going on very strong. It is vital. It is very important. Uh, I, I believe very strongly uh, in uh, the maintaining of the DVD format, very much so. It is, it, it is uh, uh, yeah, uh, you know, of course, with the greatness that is the emerging new formats, uh, Blu-ray and now 4K UHD, of course, those are great formats, don't get me wrong, but there is, a, there is uh, still such a, an importance uh, that uh, 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 it's great to see recognized with regard to the DVD format. So I'd like to see that continue as much as possible. In any event, my dear friends, that's the January 2023 Criterion announcement. What do you think? Uh, please let me know your reactions uh, in the comment section below. And again, uh, our feelings might uh, hold or they might change when the actual item arrives. So when they do arrive, let us explore them, uh, you and I together, uh, as we are, as we have done so with so many titles in the past. It would be my great, 
great honor and pleasure to be able to hear from you about these and other great titles from the Criterion Collection. So uh, please feel free to let me know in the uh, comment section below what your thoughts are right now. Uh, but uh, uh, until the next video, my dear friends, please be happy and healthy and well. And please keep on watching a lot of great, great, great movies, uh, including those in the Criterion Collection. So I'm always happy to hear what films you've seen lately. So if you want to tell me about that, let me know in the comments section below. Or if you want to say hi, you can also do that too. And I'll be very happy to, to read that. Until the next video, my dear friends, thank you. Take very good care of yourselves, all of you. And cheers.